Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about Leica's 50mm Summicron lens version 5. It's a small lens with a pull out lens hood. What's not to love? There's little to no distortion problems with this lens. How does a 50 year old lens handle contrast? And how does this lens handle details? Does the 50 Summicron keep its character on a 40 megapixel sensor? When the 50 Summicron goes on my camera, I tend to leave it on there the longest because it is so lightweight and it's portable and it doesn't attract a lot of attention when you're in a crowd. Now, will Leica touch this lens and update it? I don't think so. They haven't in 50 years. If you end up wanting a better version of this lens, you'd go with the 50 Apo. Now, it is significantly more expensive, but it's sharper. It has uh, less big netting, and it doesn't have the chromatic aberration issues. When I use this lens, I prefer to use it on a black and white sensory camera or black and white film because that way I don't have to deal with the chromatic aberrations. It does take great color photos as well, uh, but that's my preference. Now I know people who have gotten rid of this lens and they tend to regret it and they wanna have it back because it is so small and it does have that classic rendering that you're not gonna get in uh, other lenses uh, unless you get a classic lens or a used but the great thing about this lens is you don't have to buy it used. You can buy it brand new and they still make them. And they have that classic rendering as a lot of used lenses would have. So that's really why I think it's a great lens. Um, I hope you guys uh, like what you saw from it and like the images. And um, maybe I convinced one or two of you to buy one for yourself.